We've seen some general properties of epithelial tissues in the previous lecture segment. So now let's take some time to examine the different varieties of epithelia tissues in the human body. So epithelia can be categorized by the number of cell layers that are present in that epithelial tissue. Simple epithelia contain only one cell layer. Meanwhile, stratified epithelia have two or more cell layers present. They are also categorized and named by the shapes of the cells that are present in that epithelial tissue. Squamous epithelia contain flattened cells. Cuboidal epithelia contain cube-shaped cells, so that is the height of the cell is equal to the width of the cell. And lastly, columnar epithelia contain column-shaped cells, which are taller than they are wide. There are four types of simple epithelia in the human body. They are the simple squamous epithelium, the simple cuboidal epithelium, the simple columnar epithelium, and finally the pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Simple squamous epithelium is a tissue that is composed of a single layer of flattened cells. The cells in this tissue are extremely thin, which makes this epithelial tissue ideal in places where diffusion occurs. And we'll see that its locations in the body reflect this. So among other places, this tissue is found in the glomeruli of the kidney, which are the structures in the kidney where filtration of the blood occurs. It's also found in the alveoli, or the air sacs of the lungs. This is where exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the blood and the air in the atmosphere is going to occur. And it's also found lining the inner walls of the heart and the blood vessels. Because of the flat shape of the cells, this helps to make the inner walls of those structures smooth. And this is so that blood can flow without interruption and without turbulence. So here is an image showing the simple squamous epithelium that lines the blood vessel walls. And here the simple squamous epithelium is indicated by the white arrowheads. Simple cuboidal epithelium is a tissue that contains a single layer of cube-shaped cells. And this tissue is found in places where absorption and secretion are important. So for that reason, they are found in places like the kidney tubules, where these are the structures in the kidneys in which the body absorbs what it needs from the waste that will eventually become urine. It's also found in glands because these are the cells of the glands that produce the secretions of that particular gland. Simple columnar epithelium is a tissue that features a single layer of tall column-shaped cells. Simple columnar epithelia that don't have cilia will function in absorption and secretion. And we see that they're primarily found in places where that occurs, such as the region of the digestive tract, beginning at the stomach, continuing through the intestines and all the way to the last segment of the large intestine that's called the rectum. Simple columnar epithelia that contain cilia are found within the uterine tubes of the female reproductive system. Now, cilia are small hair-like extensions that are found at the apical surface of the simple columnar epithelium. And the cilia tend to move rhythmically. And in moving, they will move or pass substances or objects across the surface of the tissue. And in the uterine tubes, they function to move ovulated eggs through the uterine tubes to the uterus. And finally, we have pseudostratified columnar epithelium, which is the last type of simple epithelium. It is a single layer of column-shaped cells. However, some of the cells do not extend all the way to the apical surface, which makes them appear as though they are stratified or layered, but they are not. So hence the name pseudostratified, because the prefix pseudo means false. So just like simple columnar epithelium, the, the pseudostratified columnar epithelium functions to secrete substances. In particular, this epithelial tissue secretes mucus. 
the cilia that are located on their apical surface helps to move and propel the mucus, as well as any dust or dirt that the mucus traps, along the surface of that tissue. Pseudostratified columnar epithelia that don't have cilia are found in the sperm-carrying ducts of the male reproductive system. 